Hey yo, today I'm going to show you how to make sound effects in GB Studio with uh, FX Hammer. Um, this will be included in the next upcoming version. I think this will be 3.1. So there will be quite a few new possibilities to include uh, sound effects. This is one of them and I really like it, so I'm going to show you how this works. And um, yeah, first of all, of course, you need to uh, download FX Hammer. And FX Hammer is actually part of uh, the Carillion editor made by Alexi Eben in uh, 2001. So this version, uh, 1.2, was made in 2001. And the first version, I think, was made in 2000. So you can download it here on uh, puit.net. I will post the link in the video description. Uh, also, everything else that is important. So, um, if you want to um, have a written guide, there is a wonderful guide by um, CoffeeBed uh, on GitHub. I will link this as, this as well. And if you want to read through it or uh, look at something like the controls again, then I highly recommend um, going to that guide. This is also uh, where I looked uh, to understand how to set up uh, FXMR. So yeah, just download Carillion Editor and um, you will get a zip called a CNCD Editor. If you unzip it, um, you will end up with something like this, but the FX Hammer folder will be missing. You have to find the FX Hammer zip, unzip it, and then you will have the FX Hammer folder. This is what you need. And you got to find the hammered GB ROM inside of it and there will actually be no save file um, so you have to uh, take the fxbank.save uh, and copy it and rename it to hammered.save so most emulators will automatically open the save file if it's the same name as the gb rom so of course you can name it whatever you want but you have to name them the same um yeah so if you've done that, uh, you're pretty much good. If you don't uh, copy the save and rename it, you will have a uh, save automatically generated, but it will be a bit messed up. So I don't recommend doing that. So yeah, if you start HammerGB, it will look like this. And um, I will show you what this all means and how to use it. So, okay. So, um, with the B button and up and down, you can go through a bunch of already made FX. You can see it in the left bottom corner. Here's FX and the number. You can store up to 60 uh, sound effects here. And a few are already in the safe. So, I will just play the first few just to get an idea of what is possible. So there's some pretty complex stuff already. Uh, you can really do a lot. So I will explain to you how these rows that you see right now work. This is FX10 um, or 0A in uh, hex. So uh, yeah, I will show you how this works. So you start at 00, zero and this is a starting point. And uh, if you press A and directional keys, so the D-pad, you can change values. Um, the first row here, so the first digit is like how long the sound that you will enter be, uh, behind it will play. So one is one frame or one tick, two is two frames and so on. So let's go for six frames. So we hear it a little bit. Oh, let's go for like 16, like F frames. That's good. So the second row, um, if you press up uh, A and up one time, you will end up looking, uh, it will end up looking like this. So this um, actually is M, L and R stands for M is for centered, L is left and R is right. So this is the panning and the second value is the volume. So zero is off, uh, F will be the highest volume and one will be the lowest volume that you can still hear. And that's of course, uh, yeah, a few steps in between. So I will go with volume M center panned here 
um, then uh, you have like four different pulse waveforms here uh, because this uses the second channel of the Game Boy uh, sound chip you will have like uh, these four pulse waveforms which is actually 0 is 12.5% pulse wave 1 is 25% 2 is 50% also known as square wave and 3 is uh, 75% but 3 and 1 actually sound identical so you kind of only have 3 uh, 0, 1 and 2 yeah so I will go for a pulse wave a uh, square wave um, so number two and then we will just listen to I would say a C3 so the last thing that you can like uh, select is a note a tone and you have like five full octaves so starting at C0 and the highest note will be B5 so you have like five full octaves so if I just like put C3 here and then press start to hear it yeah it just plays uh, for 16 ticks it plays the note C3 so so that's how you can enter notes and of course we can make it a little bit more complex so I will um, put in a second value so again panning is uh, centered B is the volume let's keep the same waveform and make it one octave higher so we should end up getting something like do deep yep right so it's pretty much that simple but it gets more and more complex the more you like type in here okay <clears throat> so what else is possible I will switch to the next uh, FX bank with a B and uh, right I think it was no B and up sorry and I will show you what the last two rows are for so it's the same you need to set up a, no a length for the uh, note to play and then you already have uh, uh, the same parameters for left right center and the volume and this is controlling channel 4 so the noise channel so now you don't have like actual note values you have like a frequency from 00 to ff yeah so I can already tell you 00 is the highest available frequency it sounds like this uh, let's make it a little bit longer here so you can hear better yeah and um, it gets lower if you like change the first digit All right, and also the second digit kind of shifts it to a lower value so let's try this one so if you combine these you can come up with some uh, frequencies in between each other so you have a pretty good range for these I would call it soft noise but everything on a second digit below 7, so greater than 7, so up uh, 8, up to F, uh, will give us another result uh, in the noise sound. So it will sound a lot more metallic and a lot more like you can play actual uh, notes with it. So just hear the difference between uh, the 0, 0 and the 0, 8. Yeah, and uh, now I will change the first digit and we will hear the uh, lower frequencies. So yeah, it's a bit hard to explain what technically is happening, but um, I think that's, that's pretty cool. Um, you have to like try it out a bit and be sure that like from 0 to 7 will give totally different results than from 8 to F um, so yeah if you're looking for something more metallic sounding go for 8 to F and check these out and otherwise take 0 to 7 okay so of course you can make the same as we did before so you can just um, line up a few frequencies 
and um, yeah, you uh, you you already uh, have done like your first sound effects. So let's oops. Huh. I'm still a bit confused by the um, the controls actually. It's a bit un. un uh, I didn't do this very often. Okay, like this. So yeah. So now it changes a little bit over time. So you can make some pretty cool stuff. And um, yeah, it's that simple. If you now uh, close the emulator, if you're in BGP, for example, this is automatically saved, stored in the save file. If you run it on a real cartridge, on a flash cartridge, on a real Game Boy, of course, this is the same. So I will uh, just explain a few of the controls um, and then I will show you how to put that into GB Studio. So um, you can um, of course change values by pressing A and the directional buttons, uh, change the SFX number in the uh, bottom left corner uh, by B up and down. You can press start to play. Um, let me go to this. Yeah, uh, you can press B and A to delete something. So if I put something here and I press B and A, it's it's gone. Um, you can press start and um, down. Uh, it's not the visible here. Wait, let me go to a longer effect. You can press start and down to uh, yeah see it running down. And you can press start and up to play it in half speed. Okay, so first hold up and then press start. Or I'll try to press, uh, press it at the same time. Um, you can also, if you, let's say you like this effect very much, then you could press uh, select and up. Uh, use search for an empty one or something you want to overwrite uh, empty like effect bank and then you can press uh, select and start to insert so you copied the whole effect and if you let's say you like it um, uh, in half speed yeah instead of in normal speed you could just uh, change the the length of each um, tone like just double it and you will have like the same result so you don't have to write everything again you can just change the values that you want to change and yeah use the copy function that's pretty cool so let's see how it sounds now and now of course we can listen to this in half speed again so oh sorry Um, also, there is uh, something called uh, priority. This is next to the FX uh, column here, pre, uh, pre, and then priority. So if you press B and left and right, you can change the priority value. This is useful for uh, example if you use like GBDK or something. But in GB Studio, you don't need this. You can ignore this and leave this to zero because GB Studio has this, its own priority. Uh, sound effect um, yeah setting so I will show you that in a second so let's uh, yeah let's get to the part how to get it in uh, into GB studio so I already made um, a project I called it FX hammer video and I just made a scene and uh, I put in there like if you uh, press the a button then play sound effect and as you can see here it's the old thing you can select beep tone and crash but we can change this pretty easily just go to the project folder that you uh, generated and go to assets and then if it's not there already create a folder called sounds and this uh, folder you just copy the save file that you generated the hammered save 
you copy it in there, you paste it in, and then um, give me a second. I don't think it will. Oh, it shows up directly. Okay, then you can um, like select it here in the drop down menu. So now I can select hammered save and I can select the uh, effect number. So if I let's say I like the oh, why didn't it play? No, not this. Yeah, let's say I like the uh, FX number 02. Then you can just uh, select the second one and save and we will export this. And now if the ROM is generated and I press the A button, it should play the second effect that was in the save. So that we made ourselves or it was like, in this case, it was already in there. So let's do it. No, I can't hear anything. Ah, no, it wasn't just, uh, it wasn't focused. So yeah, if I press the A button, we have the sound effect. So it's that simple. Uh, it's really great, I think. And yeah, now let's see. Here is the priority drop down menu. We have low, medium and high. So let's say, for example, we have um, a platformer and we have a jumping and a shooting sound. Yeah. And uh, we both generated the effects uh, in channel two. So they can't play both together at the exact same time. So if you jump and shoot at the exact same time, it, it can't both happen. So you can now think about which is more important to you, the shooting sound or the jumping sound. And let's say you decide like the shooting sound is more important than the jumping sound. So you uh, select the shooting sound that you made. Let's say it's effect three or something. Of course, you have to do them both, but you could like put the shooting sound to high priority and the jumping sound to low. And every time uh, they both will be triggered at the same time, it will choose the um, sound effect with the higher priority to play. So you have three priorities, so you have to like think a little bit about it if you have a lot of sound effects, but uh, yeah, you can now pick which one is prioritized and will play um, if there is anything else happening at the same time. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope it was helpful. If you have some questions, just put them in the comments and I will answer that or just, yeah, hit me up on Discord or whatever. Um, I will be back soon, I think, with uh, how a wave sample import works and with a little huge tracker tutorial. But giving a little bit of time. Uh, see you and bye bye.